All right, so when your car is here on the tow truck at the shop or dead in your driveway, never a good thing. It is a problem that more drivers are experiencing after last week's snow, and it all has to do with the water from the snow seeping into gas station tanks. We've had multiple complaints across the state right now um, that we are inspecting. Uh, to check and see, and we've verified quite a few of them. Dr. Marcus Helfrench manages the motor fuels lab at the state, and he says the state investigates about 200 water and gas complaints every year. But this year, after Hurricane Florence and the snowstorm, complaints have spiked almost 20 percent. There have been five complaints at this one station alone this week. Dr. Helfrench says that inspectors can determine if there's water in the gas with a simple test. The test is done again in the lab to verify the results. Turns out the problem with the gas at this station is a sludge caused by water and ethanol. All right, so what happens if you get bad fuel? Well, most of the time your car will break down within minutes. I mean, this is almost instantaneous after you pull out of the station. You'll want to call the State Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to come out and take a sample from your gas tank and also the pump that you got the gas from. They will do that for free, but you need to act fast. They may have received a new delivery, so the gas that um, the consumer purchased may not be representative of the sample that we draw. All right, so the Department of Agriculture cannot force the gas station to pay for your repairs if they find that they had bad gas. Instead, you might have to take them to small claims court. What you'll need for that? The state reports definitely will help you there, but for the very best proof you can have, that is your receipt.